We back. Did you guys make money? Or did you lose money this week? I hope you made money. But if you didn't, there's always next week. There's always another trade. Move on. Who cares? Next. Anyways, uh, I got some tips, some tricks, some ideas. You let me know if you like it or not. Uh, let's look at this uh, stock twits. I love stock twits. Why? Because you can get a watch list of all the stocks you want to watch going up in here. You can edit it, do whatever you want with it. Uh, and then you can set this on an automatic feed for what people are posting on those tickers that you want to watch. So here we got a couple Bitcoin uh, posts coming in because Bitcoin's kind of coming up a little bit, getting close to that 36,000. Some people start talking about it a little bit more. Um, you can start seeing the momentum building in something while you're watching this little deal and, and kind of see what people are buying, what they're trying to short, uh, what their ideas are, so you can get your own ideas, um, and you can kind of gauge sentiment. Really nice. Uh, I pay about eight bucks a month for this thing. Uh, just because I don't like all the ads, it really slows the website down. The website is kind of slow in general. Um, and it's and I'm pretty, pretty sure it's not my computer because every other website works perfectly. And uh, so you got that really nice. We're starting to see some flow coming in for uh, so Bitcoin. Now we're seeing some ETH coming in. So just a, a, something to watch. Plus it's entertaining too. If you're trading, it's so boring just watching your chart tick up and down. So very entertaining. I don't get anything if you do stock puts, and you probably do already. A lot of people probably already have it. But if you don't, you're the one guy out there that doesn't get it, use it. Okay, next is, um, I, on the last video I talked about this technical ratings indicator. And I'm just so excited that I found this thing because it's free and it's amazing. Um, technical ratings uh, indicator, which is by TradingView. And uh, you can actually put it on the chart or have it right here. I like it you know, set up like this. And this is gonna give you a trend. So we're on a weekly basis here. We're gonna give you a trend of the buys and sells which are generated here uh, on TradingView. So this is your watch list here. And you got this little window you can pull up and down. So you got that and it's give you a little meter here. Uh, right now the technicals, the moving averages and the oscillators are all showing uh, cells, a strong cell really. It's just like combine them all together and I'll show you what I mean. You can combine them all together. All together. Let's just say what the weekly is. Okay, so then it's gonna give you the oscillators uh, um, signal. Right now it's neutral and moving averages are neutral on a weekly. And then the summary is that it's neutral because both are neutral, all right? But let's go to the day. Right now we're in strong sell because every single, pretty much every single, except for this Ishimoku cloud, is sell on the moving averages. And then on the oscillator we're neutral, but we got more sells than buys and the rest of the oscillators are neutral. So the summary was a, a strong sell. So what happens is once they post a strong sell, so like right now Bitcoin, we're on a daily, uh, we got a strong sell signal that was uh, posted for daily. There you go. Oh, we just have a sell here at least for, and this one's not over yet. So, but it's gonna give you a trend. So, and then it's gonna give you kind of like a, an oversold and overbought signal. So it's like a really good RSI. Okay, I love this indicator, by the way. This thing is super accurate. And uh, it, it will give you that confidence too, um, buying a trade, you know, knowing that at least this is on your side because it's super accurate. Now, I took it a step further and I was looking for more indicators under this technical, rating strategy okay and you can actually test it I think there's a strategy here that you can test uh, and I need to do that before I say it's amazing I guess but I don't care I think it's awesome I don't even want to test it I'm gonna test it live instead of back test it okay and then uh, and I'm pretty sure it's accurate just by what I've seen so far I haven't looked at it on a huge sample size but I've looked at it about 45 45 50 stocks uh, so far and it's been really good like you could definitely uh, if you had discipline to hold and trust it, then you definitely make some money with it. Okay, so then now you got this technical ratings on multi uh, frames assets by this guy. Uh, I hope to see this number jump up as far as being added to their favorites because this thing is insane. Uh, and let me show you what I mean. Uh, let's go to the crypto one. And I'm gonna put these layouts in the description because uh, I'm never gonna delete them as far as I can tell because if they if it works really good I haven't tested it live with stocks yet but if it works really good where it's updating the buys and sells automatically and so far I, I've seen that it has been pretty accurate with that and 
then this thing is going to be juice, juice money flex, if you've ever heard that term. So uh, it's going to be really nice. So I would definitely uh, take this and, and test it out. You don't have to use my technicals up here uh, because uh, you don't have to use these if you don't want to. This is just my, I was just coming up with kind of like a new clean setup to eliminate all the noise. And I don't, you know, you know me, I'm trying to be lazy and I just don't want to, you know, if I have this here, then these signals become a lot clearer. Like if I'm looking at, say, the only issue with this, real quick, is it takes a while to load these. Like, give me, let me give you an example. So say you switch tickers, then it takes a bit for these to load and you can see them work in here. So I would advise to have this layout uh, separate from your uh, one where you're checking different, where you're flipping back and forth between tickers, okay? Because you will run into this where you're waiting, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds, 30 seconds for them all to load. So just leave one up and it'll update automatically as far as what I can tell. So, but uh, you don't have to have this layout if you don't want to, but definitely this is really nice because now you can put in uh, up to, let's see, there's 12 per, so 36 tickers here, and you can watch them uh, on the buy and sells, okay? So now you have a situation where you got moving averages, oscillators, and all, same thing as you had here, so you've got moving averages, oscillators, and then the summary. So that's all. It's taking this information and then putting it into a screener for you based on your watch list. So I put my watch list as far as uh, cryptos go. Uh, I put my main ones here that I like to watch, and then I put kind of like secondary alts, and then like, you know, kind of like crapshoots. I think, you know, it's not perfect, but these are kind of the ones I'm looking at as could be potential runners in the future and so like right now I'm looking at wave because at all this red dogecoin and wave are the only ones that have any green with them so but we still only have a strong buy on the moving averages and we're neutral and oscillators so I would like to wait for these all to be green and then maybe generate a strong buy on the 60 minute and you can change this resolution too if you want so if you have resolution here you want to have uh, more of a short term time frame then you can go okay I want you know 15 minute and then I want a four you know maybe like a, a 30 minute and then maybe like a, a one hour or two hour something like that then you'll have this set up where you know the buy signals are will coordinate with what you decided your resolutions were to be so so I did this for crypto here so I'm gonna share this and I'm gonna leave this link in the description so I'm gonna leave this layout forever as far as I can tell as long as it's working and you guys let me know if you're having issues with it too but as long as it's working, I'm going to leave it there. The next one is the stock one. And so, oh, and how you change this. So here's the stock one. I just put all my stocks that I'm watching. How you change this, go in here, and then you just got to click on the asset here and just put in what you want. Okay, so, you, you know, and then you can just do that for all 12. Now, it's only going to show either the first set or the second set at one time. That's why I had to combine them. So this is actually three of them all combined into one pane, essentially. So... Uh, it's really nice to have this layout already built for you because it's kind of a pain to figure out how to put all these on here, especially as long as it, as it takes for them to load. So again, having this, the stock one up and having the crypto one up as layouts, so now you can kind of go back and forth, and then having a trading version of this, okay? And what this trading version is, and I'm gonna leave this link in there too, just so you guys can have it. I, I named it what? for whatever reason. I'm gonna share that too. Okay, so this will be in here. And as far as I can tell, the way you wanna trade this is like the Keltner Bollinger Band, band style, is you're, you're waiting for, um, so you're, you obviously you wanna wait for some sort of signal to generate here. Right now on AMC, we don't have the best signals. Like look at SPY, SPY is strong buy all the way through. So you want all to basically be all strong buy to really go ham, but you know, we still got to test it, but you know, that's kind of what I'm going with right now is just like wait for all three to just show strong buy, or maybe just wait for the 60 to show strong and then, and then get in. So like AMC is just a buy here, not a strong buy. So, you know, it can dabble a little bit, um, but you know, to really get in big, I'm going to wait for this to go strong buy. And so let's look at AMC. So we got potential strong buy. And so what I did here with this layout was I put momentum candles on here. Okay, because uh, I wanted to, a way to gauge momentum, but I didn't want to have this bottom oscillator in here. You know, just clutters up the screen. The oscillators throw you off. 
you know you're watching the MACD and it's looking like it's curving over and it's freaking you out and so I hate watching oscillators especially for live trading it drives me nuts they're so useless uh, for for trying to get a read on what's happening um, for the most part as far as I can tell uh, they're not that great for live trading like long-term trading I think they're really good but um, like just watching something for a you know, 30 minute time period, hour time period, four hours, I don't really like it. So I put these momentum candles on here, just like so a gauge momentum. So strong bull, bull, bear, strong bear, and then peaks. I haven't seen these peaks actually print yet, but oh, here you go, there's some right there. So you had some peaks. So the black candles and the gray candles are gonna kind of be your uh, like get out kind of signals. Like it's time to start thinking about selling. And this caught it perfect. These are catching them perfect. As far as I can tell, I've tested it with ETH. I've tested it on Bitcoin. Uh, it works really well. Let's just look at Bitcoin here. It works really well. Um, and then you got the Keltner and Bollinger Bands. So I, I labeled the um, Bollinger Band middle. Or is, I can't remember which one I labeled the middle actually. Bollinger Band is red. So, okay, yeah. So when the Keltner uh, middle the Keltner middle is green so when that one crosses over it's kind of a bullish signal and then you want to kind of wait for these to like squeeze together like depending on the time frame okay and then you know you basically can just get in when it's green and you can tell that the trends the trend holds pretty well and uh, you know you obviously have to trade in and out and, and learn how to trade it like the best trade here was obviously this uh, this little move right here and you can see and this is typical of this type of strategy is this is the momentum was uh, coming to uh, kind of a standstill contracting and then you got the breakout and the breakout happens uh, when it breaks out of this uh, Keltner channel and then you know you could just you could take this trade here or you could just uh, get in when it turns green uh, it's whatever you want to do but it is, this is my 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 new test here because uh, it seems really clean and then you got your Darvis box which is going to give you the uh, current range that it's in effectively so that's kind of what I'm watching too is just this current range. Uh, obviously this is gonna, we don't want this to break here for a bull and then we don't want this to break it for a bear. These two points are probably gonna be um, at least volatility injecting. Doesn't mean it's gonna break and go crazy, but at least people are gonna be like, okay, now we're talking about potential upside because now you got a good risk reward to buy. Whenever this level gets broken, it becomes uh, support. So now everybody's risk to reward is, you know, here or, or probably like here versus buying here, your risk to reward is way down here, you know, this support level. So uh, the risk reward is a lot worse here to buy than up here. That's the idea about breaking supports and breaking resistances. So breaking resistance would become, it's been a huge resistance ever since. I mean, you can see the, the range it hasn't, and it's kind of contracting a little bit here on the four hour. Uh, so we're looking at, uh, but you can see the Keltner green, green under the red, not good. And it's in this like lower section here. Uh, and it's consolidating, so I'm, and it's red, so I'm expecting a move like this here soon, um, just based on what I'm looking at here. You know, if it if I'm wrong, then it's going to come back up into this little area here. But uh, as of right now, this 35.9 level, um, they're trying to bring it back up to this 36. Likely not going to happen. It's likely going to fail, uh, at least from what this looks like right now. And that's how I use it. Um, but anyways, so get the crypto screener, get the stock screener. Learn how to uh, go in there and filter it like you like. And, um, go ahead and get stock twits so you can follow live updates for your stocks and news and all this stuff. And uh, gauge sentiment and whatnot. And then uh, I don't know if you guys want this layout or not, but this is a couple of interesting uh, charts that I like. Um, because I put, in, uh, I put in the 10 year oil, the Dixie and TLT all into a little chart here. So I can kind of watch them all in relation to each other. You can kind of start seeing uh, patterns and how they form. Like for example, this US 10 year, when it spiked, that's the exact point pretty much where crypto started diving. And so I, I do want to keep track of this because the 10 year affects everything. And if the 10 year starts to dive again, well, does that mean that crypto starts ripping again? You know, that's the thing is, if I, if I see this down here, you can see kind of like it's kind of oscillated with each other. So as this starts coming back down, I expect start leaning a little bit more bullish in the long term for Bitcoin. And then I've got an um, RS line here as well. So uh, just a couple different layouts that I keep track of. I have this weird layout that I use uh, just to track these weird patterns that are happening. So like, for example, you got 
you got these like the way that Pike and Ashy works on the weeklies, it starts kind of doing these weird little like curves here. So I'm just kind of keeping tabs on it to see if because uh, this little curve here um, essentially told you the point to where this happened, right? And so I'm um, just keeping track and you know, does, is this where the break is in September? Does it just keep tracking and just getting more tight and tight and tight? Well, then I definitely want to be a part of that if, if this is where it's going to happen. Or does it start following this track back down again? So this little zone here, end of July, you know, next week's, I think, going to be a big week. Uh, so I don't know. I'm just kind of keeping tabs. And we got our cells starting to generate here. A couple cells on the weeklies in Bitcoin. Uh, are they buying opportunities like these? Or are we going to be headed for more downside? So I don't know. Anyways, just some thoughts. Saturday. Hopefully you guys um, are blessed. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.